Y'all know what it is already, right? It's your boy Quest, and this is your marriage moment. <laughs> Let's go. What up, y'all? It's your boy Quest, man. Let me let y'all know something. I was watching a video yesterday on YouTube, and I was watching a married couple have a conversation. And in the conversation, the husband proposed a question and the wife was answering, right? And as I sat there, there were a number of different lessons that I was like learning and there were a number of different points that I was paying attention to. But one of the things that I was paying attention to is the ability to listen, to process information, to learn, and then to make adjustments, right? And so as I was watching the video, man, um, one of the things that I paid attention to was the fact that they're both answering the questions and both making some valid points, but they were not hearing what each other says. If I had to give today like a, I don't know, if I had to make today like a, a, a key word for, day, for today, it would be teachability. And I say teachability because Teachability is possessing the intentional attitude and behavior to keep learning and growing throughout life. I'm going to say it one more time. Teachability is uh, possessing the intentional attitude, right, and behavior to keep learning and growing through life. And as you know, in marriage, the person that you married is not the person that you're married to. You evolve and you change. In my situation, when Faith and I got together, her love language was gifts. When we had kids, oh, that all changed. Her, her love language was acts of service. In other words, can you fill my tank with gas? Can you vacuum a carpet? Can you wash clothes? That put me in a position to be able to learn who she is. And she as well learned who I am. And we continue to adjust through the seasons, right? This is the reason why I say that, right? And when I say through life, Marriage is just one portion of life. So, of course, of course, when I say life, it's all encompassing, right? Including marriage. I'm just talking within the context of marriage, right? Um, and I say that because no one subject or set of subjects will serve you through the foreseeable future, much less your entire life, right? So you always have to keep learning, have to keep growing. Here's where we fail, right? It's our attitude. Sometimes when our spouse is teaching us how to treat them or how to love them, right? We have a tendency to love them the way that we want to love them. But in essence, that doesn't speak love to them, right? I realized there was a, a, a research done by uh, John Maxwell and a number of other people, right? John Maxwell is like, the, like one of the gurus of leadership. And he said up to 85% of success in life, I'm going to say it one more time, up to 85% percent um, of success in life um, has to do with attitude and only 15 percent has to do with talent so there are some of us who are very well talented in certain areas to do things for our spouses but where we fall short is the attitude right pride creeps in ego creeps in and you feel like you're doing it because nobody really wants to hear that they're not doing as well as they think they should uh, as well as they think that they're doing right um, especially when you think that you're doing well, right? The attitude, right? The ego creeps in, the pride creeps in. And what I know about a pride is that it is concerned with who's right. And when you operate in humility, humility is concerned with what's right. Therefore, if I always concern myself with doing the right thing, then I'll always come out on top. What am I saying? Be teachable. Be teachable. Remember what I said, it, it, the intentional attitude and behavior right? Of keeping learning and growing in the forefront. That's, that's being teachable. So in this season, you don't know it all. Let's just keep it 100. Your spouse may have liked a certain thing in the last season, and she may not like that thing in the new season. Your husband may have liked something in the last season. He may not like that thing in this new season. What may have been important to your spouse or not important to your spouse in the last season is now important or unimportant, depending on where they have grown and evolved. So do me a favor, be teachable and always be concerned with humility, which is, uh, which is uh, uh, focused on doing what's right. Not focusing on who's right. When you focus on who's right, yeah, we can have opposing opinions as long as the day is. But everyone can agree in a relationship on what's right. And if you're serving your spouse, yep, and you operate in humility, right, and you always do the right thing, you can't lose. It's your boy Quest, man. 
So y'all already know what I say. From shaky to good, from good to great, ultimately what we want is phenomenal marriages. But you can't buy that. You have to work for it. So work for it, specifically in the area of being teachable. Because if you're not working on your marriage, then my friends, what are you doing? It's your boy Quest, man. Peace. What up, y'all? It's your boy Quest. Listen, October 30th to November 1st. What's going down? You know it. GrowCon 2020. I'm going to say it one more time. GrowCon 2020. For those of you who've ever been to any of the Grow Marriage Conferences, you know that they have been phenomenal. Now listen, COVID-19 and this whole COVID-19 area has been challenging for us, right? Why? Because the children are at home, the husband is at home, the wife is at home, and we've been put into a predicament that some of us have probably never been in before. In other words, you weren't prepared for it, right? And so it's presenting some challenges and difficulties in a ways that we've never experienced challenges or difficulties right get your ticket now come through to GrowCon 2020 and what we want to do is give you the tools necessary to show you how to navigate through this current era right who will be there none other than Jorge and Kayla Sierra co-hosts of the good the bad the sexy preach Paul Garrett will be there and I promise you we're going to dive into some of the ways that we are wired right and some of the ways that drive our wiring right and he's going to take you on a deep dive and I promise you if you've ever been to the grow conferences then you know you are in for a treat myself and my lovely wife Faith Green will be there and guess what y'all Oh, the music is going to be popping. None other than DJ David Settles will also be in the building. Listen, this is going to be something that you don't want to miss. You need to invest in your marriage, and we're going to give you one of the ways to do that, right? From October 30th to November 1st, get your tickets now at uh, growcon2020.eventbrite.com. It's GrowCon 2020. It's your boy, Quest. See you there.